Hello. I'm sitting in the big chair. Today is family art day. Well, actually, almost family art night by the time this will happen. Once again, I'm gonna to try to use up materials from past projects. Last week, I built a little model railroad out of balsa wood, and you can watch that video here. Or here, it's up here someplace. I don't know exactly what I'm going to make yet, but I know that I'm going to use up those supplies from that roller coaster model. And I'm also going to make sure to keep the techniques simple enough so that if you like it, um, and I think it's gonna turn out cool, you can make one of your own. So thanks so much for joining and thanks for watching. And if you like these videos, we are having fun making them. Be sure to like, subscribe, and boink that little bell so that you don't miss out on any more fun. Okay, let's get started. I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but I want this little sculpture to have a twisting gesture, reaching up towards something. So I'm going to start with some screws attached to the base. God, a Phillips screw found its way into my box of star bit screws. That's weird. For years, I have only bought T25 star drive screws. The T25 star drive is the screw of the future. God, another Phillips screw? Trove only uses the T25 advanced prototype screw. After I have some superior T25 screws firmly attached, I twist some copper as a little framework to work off of. One of these days, I really need to show you where I get all of my copper wire that I use in so many of these projects. It's my electrician dad's shed. Off the shed! And it's always a bit of a hero's odyssey to get to it past many perils like bees and mosquitoes and wasps. Totally going to use some of the plaster left over from a previous project, which you can see I opened from the bottom of the bag. I had that round base there from a pack of two that I got for the model roller coaster that I built last week, and these balsa wood matchstick type things are from that as well. I decided to use the wood sticks much like old laugh underneath the plaster and old walls. I love, I love the broken plaster wall look, and I have built lots of stage sets with fake plaster walls for fake old apartments with lots of fake water damage rotting away the plaster to reveal the laugh underneath. So I think this sculpture is going to have that look too. This is a pretty fun process, very free form, keeping the overall gesture in mind, but just kind of letting the sculpture take its own form. Jules is working on her next amazing watercolor on the table next to me. She also delivers me uh, glasses of soda. <laughs> Someone is about to hijack this video for a bit. Her name is Jojo, and we call her the Joj, and she's just going to call you Camera. Camera, I'm going to work on this with um Aaron. Do it right here and do it right here, okay? Right here on 
she sees mom painting and she decides it's time to paint. Actually, I want to paint it like right here. Well, we're not painting it yet. Um, well, um, well, when we're going to be done with this, we're going to paint it like right here and then we're going to like build something on the top. Okay, Aaron? Okay. I'm gonna put this right here. Okay? Sounds good. Mm -hmm. What are you doing, Jake Bob? I'm gonna put this right here. The Joge then decides that she's going to make a house for her Barbies. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna make this house, but um, I need like one of these circles. Or you could do it on, on a base like this. You want to do it on a base like that? No, um, can you find a circle base? Time to mix some plaster. Using cups from New Orleans. Thanks, Emily. Check out Emily's art at Tiny Tableau. Jules is getting color ready. Mixing plaster. I could tell you how, but just follow the directions on the bag, the upside down bag. It's super easy and forgiving of little mistakes. You just have to work quick. I've learned that you can coax it into shapes, but once it gets to a clay-like consistency, you just have to let it dry or you'll be breaking the interior strength and it will crack. Once it thickens up, you can still work the exterior textures. You can rough it or smooth it. These are technical sculpting terms. I'm just blobbing it on, again, another technical sculpting term. And just like plaster walls, I'm making sure to squish it into the wood pieces enough so that when it hardens, it has a good physical bite. Jules is using that battery-powered light I made a few vids back while the kids build houses. If you need a no-flicker light for your maker vids, just check out that lamp build. It's easy, it's cheap, and it really does work. While I sculpt the plaster, I really try to coax it into having an upward reach with a really organic feel. Once the first coat dries, I'm adding a bit more of the wood sticks, adding layers and depth. damp plaster can be cut into a, with a little razor blade or anything, a butter knife would probably work, and then smoothed out with a wet brush. I decided to add a little outcrop mini sculpture right next to the main one. But for some reason, it reminds me of that weird little frog that sits outside of Jabba's palace in Return of the Jedi. And 
That's when I realized that I accidentally made a sculpture of Expedition Everest. Meh, it's not gonna stay that way. It just looks that way because it's white right now, but I'm now going to turn the sculpture over to Jules to paint it. For a lot of my paintings, I use primary colors. So I started with sort of a primary palette for this sculpture. Reds, blues, yellows. And as I worked, I kind of deconstructed the colors and sort of blended them and added some blacks and some grays. And then on top of that, did some line work with some brighter colors and some blacks sort of like I do with some of my other paintings. I love what Jules did with the paint, but since it's me, I'm gonna add some gold now. All in all, a pretty good family art night. I really like my freeform abstract sculpture. And Jules did another great watercolor for one of her short stories. Benny made a little cabin for his figures. And the Joge, well, she made 